Let's talk about the concat and concatenate functions. Both of them actually have different results when used. Of course, if you want to just combine the contents of certain cells, I would advise not to use the concat or the concatenate functions. Instead, you can just combine them by calling out the cell locations and using an ampersand between them. But of course, concat and concatenate functions can do much more than that. One of them actually combines the content and other one just copies them in a particular fashion. Let's look at a practical example and see how these two functions give different results. Now in order to demonstrate the difference between the results of concat and concatenate, I have uh, made this small table and array and let me just see how the results differ. So what I'm going to do is that in this particular cell M4, I'm going to put equal to concat and then I'll just select this array. So you can see that in a single cell, I'm getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But instead of concat, now if I use concatenate and I select this array, I just get the table replicated over here. So practically, if you have to just replicate a particular table, you don't need to put a function in the entire table of equal to instead you can just put a concatenate and select the array and your table is replicated let's also see some other differences let me do it now column by column so it will be equal to concat this column comma the second column comma the third column bracket close enter so you can see that the result has come in one cell only and the concat is happening in a sequence 1, 4, 7, 2, 5, 8, 3, 6, 9. Now let's see what results do we get if instead of concat we use the concatenate function. Equal to concatenate first column, comma, second column, comma, the third column and bracket close. Okay, now you can see that the results have come into one column only because we have concatenated the columns. So it has concatenated the first row into a single cell, the second row into a single cell, and then the third row into a single cell. The results are in one column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see what happens now if we do the same thing row by row. First, I'll use the concat function equal to concat first row comma second row comma third row and bracket close i'm sure that the results that we're going to get is in a single cell one two three four five six seven eight nine yes here it is now let's see what happens when we do a concatenate row wise equal to concatenate row one comma row two comma row 3. I assume that only the first row should be filled. Let's see the results. Here you go. So now you can see how you can use the concat and concatenate functions. I think there are many times when you have to visualize data and use this data. There you can for sure use concat and concatenate dependent upon how you want to visualize the data. And yes, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time a new video is uploaded.